1965 to 1990, we made Singapore go from first, from third world to first. And from 1990 to 2010, we gave Singapore that cosmopolitan gloss, that polish, that poise, that vibrancy. If you look back at our beginnings in 1965, it is a most improbable story. Nobody thought we would succeed in 1965. We were tough out of Malaysia, small island, no resources, overpopulated, facing confrontation from Indonesia and a not very friendly Malaysia. Today, we have forged ahead regardless of all the odds against us. In 2010, if you look at that skyline, you know this is a vibrant, booming city. You can see people dining along the river banks, around the marina, Boat Key, Clark Key, and that was a sewer not too long ago. But with persistent effort, we clean up the rivers. Today, that marina is a reservoir, giving us 30 million gallons of water per day. Kalang River, Singapore River, all the drains and all the tributaries, the canals that go into it, are clean and no filth and no salish water. And this year we are hosting 3,600 young athletes from all over the world for the Youth Olympics. Unimaginable in 1965. What made it possible? Our core basic values. A united people capable leaders at every level, no corruption, no nepotism, and every man appointed to a job which he is capable of doing. We have a level playing field for all our citizens. We have chosen English, not Chinese, which are of disadvantage, the non-Chinese. So everybody has to learn a foreign language. But it's a foreign language that is now the world's most common language. And it links us up to the rest of the world, the internet, and makes it easy for all those who do business with us. So we are a hub for logistics, banking, finance, you name it. They are all in Singapore because of the language. We have been rated as the cleanest city, the most incorrupt city in Asia, and one of the top three in the world. 